Hey, hey. Good let's, to see you. Uh, let's start your, your garden. Okay, sounds good. I'm excited. <laughs> Time to head over to Brittany's house. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm running a little behind because I was filling some five gallon buckets with some materials to bring over to her house. I have a tomato plant and a ground cherry plant and we're gonna go take a look at her garden and see what we're gonna be working with today. So Brittany is my sister-in-law. She is Chris's sister. Her and her husband, Keith, have lived in their house for almost two years. And uh, they didn't do a garden last year. She had talked about wanting to do a garden this year. And we're a little late. It's um, coming up into mid-June. And so that's a little late for our region, but it will be just fine. And late is better than never. Uh, there's so many things you can grow in a shorter window of time. Brittany lives in a little Cape Cod about 20 minutes away from us and they have a great yard for gardening. It gets full sun, um, lots of flat space and I believe this year they're starting small which is a good plan especially when we're this late in the game and it's about probably a four by eight area where she's going to start her garden. And she may want to do some container gardening. I'm not sure. We'll be asking her in just a minute. Uh, Brittany and I are going to be working on the garden this morning. We're going to head over to a nursery at some point and pick up some plants. We'll pick up some good compost, bagged compost to put in the garden. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to help her get her first garden started. And I hope that she falls in love with gardening just as much as I did. And I can't wait for you guys to meet her. So, see you in a minute. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for show. Okay, I'm here. So, let's go grab Brittany and let's start this garden makeover. Hey, good let's, to see uh, you. Let's start your, your garden. Okay, sounds good, I'm excited. Okay, so tell me about what you want for the garden. So we just wanted to get some fresh veggies in the garden that we can just go pick out yeah. back, which would be nice to have them fresh and know where they came from too. What do you like to eat? Like we love garden? cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, onions, anything, anything fresh that's good on a great salad, so. Okay, anything you don't like to eat? No, I'm a, I love veggies. I Everything? There's one veggie I don't like, so. Even like eggplant? You like eggplant? Oh yeah. Okay. I brought over one tomato plant. It's called a green zebra tomato plant. And then I brought over, I brought over a ground cherry plant. It's something you probably never have had before. Never does it. <laughs> it's like this little, it's like this big and it's wrapped in a husk. Like it grows okay. in a husk on the plant. Um, and it tastes like, like sweet, sweet, like a fruit. And I also brought over some seeds. So I brought over... This, which is a short season cucumber, so it's okay. ready in 52 days, so it's okay, pretty so quick. Perfect. I brought over a couple different kinds of summer squash. Mm. This is just a standard zucchini mm -hmm. that's quick, 50 mm -hmm. days, smaller. And this one is called a Lebanese white bush marrow. And it's really okay. cool, it's uh, quick, 50 days. What do you think it would be, like four by? Four by eight, four by 10 yeah. maybe? So okay. it's not a huge garden, but just something to get us started. So have you heard of square foot gardening method? Mm-mm. It's essentially basing your garden on each square foot so you can decide what to plant in each square. So okay. like some things will need more than one square, other things like one, like you can do a tomato a square. Okay. Even though it seems close, you just have to keep them pruned. And then you could do like a bunch of lettuce in one square. So you can maximize your growing space. Cool. So you pretty much like everything. Yes. Yeah, which like makes it easy and hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, maybe we can walk outside. Sure. And just get a sense of the space. It's bright today. So he put ground, down grass clippings. Awesome. Yeah. So 
just need a little. Let's see how big it is. Using my feet. front of the, right here we could do lettuce. You like lettuce, like salads? I, I, I eat salad. And then the middle squares we can pick up like some, do you like kale? Mm -hmm. So we get to pick up like some kale and chard. Do you like radishes? Mm-hmm. Radishes are quick, really quick, so they're fun to do. You could do, I mean you can try carrots. Do you want to try carrots? Do you like carrots? We eat carrots every week. It's yeah, so. It's our main staple when we bring the work. Oh, yes. perfect. Then let's do some carrots. Do you want to do green beans? Sure. So some of these things I brought over are yeah. seeds. Mm -hmm. And the reason I did that is because the cucurbits, mm -hmm. which is cucumbers, zucchini, winter squash, summer squash, um, watermelon, cantaloupe, all those things are in the family called cucurbits. Mm -hmm. And they don't like to be transplanted. They don't like to be moved from one place to another. So they're better off starting They're better off starting from seeds. I love this person's little garden in their front yard. I'll show you how to prune tomatoes because since we're doing square foot gardening, you're putting a lot in a small, small space, space, so you have to prune. So actually, I can show you right now while we're at a red light. Okay, so you see this these things growing yes. in the elbows? You're just going to prune those off. Okay. Little elbows. And eventually what will happen is they'll get really big and they'll become essentially a new plant of their own. Really? Yeah, and, and you don't want that to happen because while they'll still produce tomatoes if they form a new plant of their own, they'll just go all over the place. Yeah. And so you can let like one form, like you can let one go and it's okay and you probably will accidentally because you won't it's so hard. It but when you get them like they're little, literally you just go like this and just, just pinch them off pull them right and up. just put them right back in the soil. Oh. They'll just feed the soil. There's something Perfect. called um, chop and drop. So mm -hmm. when you clean up your garden, in the fall, like when everything's dead, you'll remove anything that's diseased. You throw those away and you burn them. Other than that, uh, you can do what's called chop and drop. So you just chop everything down and you just leave it to compost. So you, you take all that organic matter and you put it right back into the soil. Cool, this looks like a cute little market. Mm -hmm. I think they should have plenty of stuff. It looks like, it looks like they have market. tons. Yeah, and if you want, we can pick up some flowers too for your other the pots. Yeah, your pots. Is this an artichoke? I think this is artichoke. It totally is. I was gonna say these look just like my plants. Let's find a plant that's good. So, when you're picking out plants, you want them to have a strong stalk more than anything else. So even if this was this tall. If the stock is the same size as one that's shorter, you want to pick the shorter one. So like this is a good example, like, see how this is like itty bitty? Mm -hmm. um, this is a better option than this one. Another thing you can do too sometimes is you can find, occasionally you'll find one with extra plants. So like there's four, a four pack, so there might be like eight in a four pack. I don't see any, so we'll just pick up this little guy right here. Okay. That should be perfect for your needs. Right. Oh, you know what? They do have onions. You want to put some onions in the perimeter? Sure. White or red? White? Because these are pretty big already, so I think these will be just fine if we get them in the ground. Onions! Perfect! This is rainbow chard. See all those stalks are like different colors? Mm -hmm. Pretty. Super cool. Oh, I think I see some basil. Yeah, it's all like in the front section. Okay, got some basil. Do you like mint? Mm 
Do you have mint? Mm -mm. Do you want to use one of your pots to do mint with some flowers? Sure. Which kind? There's chocolate mint, which is amazing. There's, you could try it, smell it. Variegated ginger mint, which I've actually never seen. Mmm, that's good. I like ginger, so. Yeah? Ginger Do you want to try that one? Sure. Now, will they all go together well in one pot? Just or one. Just one per just pot? Just one, yeah. Okay. Um, most of these guys are perennials, so let's go find some marigolds. Okay. Marigolds. I think it'd be easier to find marigolds. I know, they usually. Not here, no. They'll probably be out. They might maybe outside. There's lots of stuff going on here. Oh, there's like a whole greenhouse for marigolds. Oh, let me bring my... Um, so just pick up a flat that you like, like that you like the colors of. You like the mixed. Okay, so you got two yellows. Any other colors you want to implement in your... Mm -hmm. So you like pink. This is bright red. That's pretty? Okay. Maybe they'll have seeds. Ooh, this one's pretty too. Look at this. Look at the leaves. Follow your plants. <laughs> There's so many plants. Hope we don't break the bank. Look at beautiful stars. I wanna drive a fast. 80-25. Hey guys, not that bad. I know. I mean, that's a lot of plants. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get these beauties in. So, carrot and radish seeds we did not get. Yes. Kind of think... I wonder... You know who I know will have them? Hmm. Even though they're not going to be great seeds, but they'll have them. Lowe's. Lowe's, okay. And there's it on the way here. It's on the way. So, yeah. uh, it's kind of like, well, what's wrong with my beans and what's wrong with my corn? Well, what can I see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so... Observation is just, like, so important. And then to just doing everything you can to have good soil health. And I think the biggest factor of good soil health is adding organic matter mm -hmm. every year and also uh, mulching. Mulching is so, so like what, what I've learned lately is that like if you look around like nature mm -hmm. where plants grow, you don't see plants growing without some kind of ground cover. Mm -hmm. Like naturally, if there's a bare soil, something's going to fill it. Mm -hmm. And so I think that sometimes in the garden, we like just leave bare soil and then we just pull the weeds and then mm -hmm. that soil dies because it doesn't have life in it. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing that, you can mulch, you can put down wood chips, you can put down grass clippings, you can put down leaves, anything, or you can just fill it with plants. Mm -hmm. And that way the soil is never bare. Mm -hmm. Time to go get some carrot and radish seeds. Don't buy the ground up friends. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't get the weed killer. Don't kill the bees. Mm -hmm. They might, be in, they might be inside, because they would get wet here, you know, potentially. Mm -hmm. So no luck at Lowe's getting carrot seeds, but we're stopping at this little roadside market and we see seeds. And then we're going to plant this garden. <laughs> Fun and sun blend. I mean, you can pick whatever one you want. It's the prettiest one. Mammoths are going to be huge. Okay. Those ones are pretty. They might also have mix. This is mix. I think it's just yellow. Okay. Um, they have carrots. just Danvers carrots, yeah. In. Pick the organic ones if you can. Like this one says organic on the top. Does it? Oh my god. Look at that one then. And see. Radish. radish. Oh yeah, those are good radishes. Okay, we got your seeds. <laughs> We're good. Faster car. They want the troubles to rest. to plant the garden. I'm going to do a quick outfit change and then we'll be ready to go. Ready to go! When I'm out, so put 
got this marked out for the square foot gardening method and we're just gonna move that string as we go and we're gonna go ahead and get started. What we'll do is we'll plant the tallest one okay. in the back. And then I'll put this one, I'll do this one, and then we'll do one of these guys and we'll figure out what to do with the rest of them. these guys. So with tomatoes you actually they grow roots along the stem. Okay. So you do it real deep. Probably down that you think or um, what we're gonna do so we're going to break off some of the, the all the stuff on the bottom. Not because it's dead, dead but we're because gonna plant it yeah, deep, we're going right? to plant it deep. You also want to keep the, the bottom pruned anyways because it will get disease from the ground. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, nothing can break me tomatoes in our first row right here and then we have a row of eggplants and then in the back here actually we have a little row of sunflowers along the back which that should be really pretty and then we have our little lettuce salad type area we have our chard our kale and our romaine lettuce and then we have some squash and some zucchini in the back another little row of lettuce romaine and then up here we have our carrots and then we have our purple green beans and then we have just some other just regular green beans we have celery, onions, cucumbers along the back. And then we got some herbs too, right? Yes, we did. And so we have different, different, different planters around. So we have our lavender. We have some basil in this one along with rosemary. Great for cooking. And then we have some flowers. There's a little chard there and some other really pretty flowers. This cool geranium that has really pretty variegated leaves. And uh, the cucumbers, we're going to 
set up some kind of trellis that's going to lean against this fence and they're going to grow up along that so that will be nice then we have some ginger mint in here a couple more basil plants and then over here we have some chocolate mint another couple basil plants we had a lot and then back here we have some ground cherries which are going to help grow out and then you can just so yeah so there's a garden now i know i'm excited <laughs> It's gonna be fun to finally have my own food and to grow and hopefully save some money. There's like a lot of space in here for things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy how much you can plant when you do the square foot gardening method. Oh so, yes. woohoo, food! How's everything going? Things are actually going really well. It's hard to believe it's been a week, a little over a week now since we planted the garden and we have so much coming up already. We've got zucchini plants sprouting, my radishes are doing great. It's been really exciting to see everything start to grow. It's funny, my husband came out and he was like, this is so exciting. He's never had a garden. He's like, it's fun to see the little things pop out and the little peppers start. And so it's been you, really you exciting. You picked a pepper week. the other day, right? I did. I was like, I don't know if it's ready, but there's a ton on it already. And it was <laughs> wasn't quite ready yet, but it still tastes pretty good, so I'm excited was to it make spicy? it. Was it spicy? It was, looks like it lacked a little kick, but it's probably just because it's not full grown yet. Yeah. But it was pretty good, so I'm excited yeah. when they're actually full grown. You made something with your rosemary? Too. I did. I added some fresh rosemary to one of my meals the other day, and it was delicious. What are you most excited about? I'm just excited to like make a fresh salad with all my lettuces, because I've never actually done that. So it'll be a really exciting salad, and then I can add my toppings with cucumbers and... Fresh basil. Yeah, and it can just be a whole salad just from my garden, which is pretty cool to say. Yeah. Maybe, maybe people can yeah. see that. It shouldn't be too long now. Look at all those greens. I know. Oh, have you rolled? Go easy on me now, and my love will shine.